What's up guys? Now I'm doing the configuration for the Aruba Suites. This is, uh, as you can see in my <clears throat> like mini workstation. So I have two laptop. I'm using for this for the CLI. And this one for the uh, pink this for the UTP. Once I register the, uh, the, UT, uh, the IP address. So this is my main Aruba Suites that we are I'm doing. So this one is new, uh, the new switch for Aroba. What I'm doing is I need to register the, the host name, the primary VLAN, uh, IP address, uh, submit mask, and VLAN that will assign to the porting which is tag and tag. So <clears throat> as you can see I have uh, already console cable uh, for using for the CLI <clears throat> and I have ready cable. So that this one I will connect to my laptop. Let's begin. I will connect the power for the Aruba switch. <coughs> so now it's on. <coughs> Once the light is on, so the porting, the rack, the OS, and this one is for the ECP module area. Yeah. This is one, two, three, four. So I am waiting to blink all the porting for the UTP. And so I think this one is ready. So what we are doing from this console cable, and I have one connect to my laptop through porting. So first thing, you can check first the in the device manager. <coughs> so once the device manager is open, click. So you must go to comfort. So I use the comfort seven. Okay, once Comfort 7 is okay, and usually when you're doing the program for this uh, Aruba Switch using CLI console cable for the phone, I will use the Terra Turn. Okay, so since this is serial, you must click the serial. Then okay. Once uh, okay, then you must click the button. Enter. Then press any key to continue. Okay. As you can see, they have the host name already. So I will check first what's inside the program for this Aruba Switch. So I will type the. Run or it's it's are you okay? So as you can see, they had already VLAN. Actually, earlier I already tested for this one. So they had already for VLAN management, which is I assign the IP is 100 and submit mass is always normal for so 55 to 55 to 55. But this one, once installed in the site, the IT will uh, change the VLAN and the IP address for the management. Because this one is only uh, testing, this one is only for testing, so, the, so, so that it will work. So we need to check the IP address that I registered earlier. Uh, okay. So I have a LAN cable here. I have LAN. So I will connect to 424. Okay. Make sure it's blinking. Now I will go to my other laptop because I'm using for the LAN and from other laptop is for the comfort. So you must go to command CMD 
reporting tests. Okay, I will type the IP address which is 10.10.5.100 that I registered earlier. So as you can see, the IP address is already working for this switch. So once uh, this one, it means it's forwarding already. Uh, okay. So once okay the I, the ping test, I will try to the web page. So usually the the switch have their own web page. Okay. I I open for the for the Internet Explorer. You can use also Google Chrome, but I use uh, Internet Explorer. I will type this one now for the IP address which is 10.10.5.100 10, Okay, so I did not put the password so that if ever the IT will change the the IP switch and the VLAN it will automatically there's, there's no hassle if there's, there is no password since they will change the, the IP address later So as you can see this is the dashboard and the status this is the status so the OME switch ready and the management IP4 I manually gateway I did not put the uh, default gateway because like I said it will change later so this is the uh, product the model is JL073E which is the Aruba product name or the model number but the original product is Aruba 3810M this is POA switch so if you want to check the, the existing configuration report what you are doing to do is you go to configuration there is configuration report so it will come up the running configuration so the running configuration which is consists of the like VLAN, VLAN, default VLAN one which is this is the primary. So the one after that VLAN, VLAN one is the primary, you need to make sure that you have also management. So the management, you can assign the IP address along with the side subnet mask. So I assigned the 10.10.5.100 along with the subject mask 255.255.255.0. So that's why once once this configuration is okay, you must ping this. Make sure that this not ping timeout or what or uh, unreachable. But this one is already okay, which is reachable. So okay, this is already done. But later, I will do the VLAN, which is as I will assign the four thing like CCTV, access control, uh, voice for the telephone, and other. But like IT said to me that no need to change for the as long as they had IP address. So that's all, folks. So hope you enjoy and you have a uh, knowledge for. At least this is only for the normal and this is uh, easy. Okay, goodbye. Thank you. Oh, this is the example.